Oh, it's gotta be good. It's a Lou Adler, Michael White production of a movie. Musical. It is a musical. <laughs> wow. By some Irish guy. It's the same person that wrote Rocky Horror. By some Irish guy. I've been wanting to watch Shock Treatment with you for a while. I think that this is one of the most underrated movies ever. It struggled a lot because of its relationship to Rocky Horror. So to put it bluntly, Shock Treatment just isn't a very good movie. A critical and commercial failure. The way I would describe it, it's an alternate universe fan fiction. It just did not work for people because they were going into it expecting to see Frankenfurter and flamboyant like musical numbers and that is just not how I would describe it. Interesting. There are a lot of connections to Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's just a very different story. So obviously just a retread of Rocky Horror. It already sounds kind of like... Yeah, you can definitely Rocky hear Horror. the musical similarity. Oh yeah. And the further you go, some of the subtext and some of the very on the surface text, like deja vu from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Like it's not the same, but oh boy, is this definitely the same person in charge. <laughs> it's all right, Brad. Everything's gonna be all right. Is that actually Brad? It is not. Yeah, the Brad and Janet are different in this one. Tim Curry did not want to come back. A bunch of other actors did not want to come back. They had to make a lot of creative decisions to make it work. I think it works. I don't know if that enticed you in any way or if that just made you <laughs> more reluctant to watch this. But I think uh, it's great. <laughs> yeah, I think it helped. Look at his Dentin smug face. <laughs> Are you perhaps one of those amongst us who feel this Among us. John! <laughs> Yay. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> no, it's Farley's <laughs> fabulous fast food. Farley's documentary. You're so probing. I wouldn't mind getting probed. <laughs> Betty's about to do some probing on her own, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hi, Betty. The usual. Fun fact, that officer was the original, um, something or other wow. <laughs> in, in Rocky Horror. Yes, uh, he needs help. <laughs> Wait, is he blind or not? Let's face it, Jane. He's blind. Brad's an emotional cripple. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like the Ellen show. No, no. I absolutely love this like ominous shot of the silhouette in the logo. Mm. It's like the Truman Show. This is actually quite similar to the Truman Show. Really? Toaster. <laughs> Don't you put the burn on me. Refrigerator. Why are we always sooner or later? That one actually kitchen. sounds like a line from the other show. <laughs> yeah. I think this song is actually brilliant. I don't... I don't understand it. They're processing their difficult marriage via television advertisements. Was this guy going through a divorce at any point in his life, Richard O'Brien? <clears throat> he had gone through a divorce just like two years before this movie came out. Oh wow. <laughs> and he went through another divorce later. That makes sense. I, I could see the man writing Rocker Horror Picture Show <laughs> getting divorced a couple times. I'm Dr. Cosme McKinley, and this is my sister and colleague, Dr. Nation McKinley. The brother and sister in this one aren't boning, right? John, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah! Yeah, I might like this movie. <laughs> I sure do. 
I don't know how it's possible that little Nell looks 40 years younger in this movie than she was in the last one, but <laughs> here we are. That's her? Yes, that's the same actress. What the fuck? That's insane. It's kind of cool. The circular cage with the padded walls. Chef's kiss. Yeah, it's kind of like a bird cage. <laughs> I love that they just left him in the wheelchair. <laughs> She's amazing. Unfortunately, Jessica Harper, the actress there, can't sing particularly well. I love how deep her voice is. Yeah, she has a really nice voice. Because you very rarely get to see a female lead that has a lower register voice. And you frankly very rarely get to see a female lead that's not like a teenager, you know? Yeah. I love seeing an adult woman in the center. Oh my god, Ray Dunn. <laughs> You've made it as a middle-aged white woman. It's when you have a full set of Ray Dunn containers. <laughs> Why is she standing like that? He played golf. Yeah, that's how you put knees in. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Your father doesn't like Mexicans. Your father doesn't like Mexicans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Men should be the misters and the masters. I thought he was just gonna start singing about how he hates Mexicans. He may as well be. <laughs> this song rubs a lot of people the wrong way. Well, how could it? <laughs> I love the guitar riff. It's so mm, middle America. <laughs> Gay people. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> USA. USA. <laughs> yeah. No, that's really funny. That's I think I think song. it's a hilarious song, but yeah. some people think that it's somehow anti-gay. <laughs> It's pro-gay. <laughs> it's making fun of that. I know. <laughs> shove it! Oh, you shove it too, Betty! Alimony is just another word for rape. Okay. Everything they say is so out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, the man just got divorced. He can say anything he wants now. This is, this is his time! <laughs> This must have just been a blast to shoot. I know, right? I can't imagine how much fun they had. <laughs> Looks like uh, Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. <laughs> you know what? I see it. I see it. Oh no. Yeah, so remember when you asked me- Damn it. <laughs> Why does this happen in every one of his movies? That being said, I would do anything to get into Patricia Quinn's pants also, so- I mean, I get it, but he doesn't have to make them brother sister. But he is. <laughs> it's actually her fault that I found this movie. <laughs> because her I, fault? I wanted to watch more of her, and this is one of the only other things that she's done. Other than, um... <laughs> other than Money Harry Python? Potter. She's the one that, like, f***s the professor in front of his students. Oh my god. Really? Yeah. Oh. This is fucking cinema, bitch. Oh my god. My voice broke. That's how he sleeps? Because he's blind? I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> Does this bird belong to you? What the fuck? No, wait, yeah, no, he's just sleeping like that, what? He's a weird guy. <laughs> Can I say he's a weird guy? Was that Sigmund Freud? Maybe. <laughs> it's possible. It explains all the incest in this guy's shows. Yeah, I do have some questions about, like, Richard O'Brien, but I don't think I want the answers. <laughs> Well, I don't like how easily I was able to suss out he was going through a divorce. <laughs> and he also just keeps including incest. <laughs> Wait, so he's not blind? 
Okay. Michael Jackson Thriller. <laughs> Yo, is that allowed? He likes it. <laughs> oh wow, he really likes it. That is the one part that I'm like, I think we could have done this a little more subtly, guys. But, you know, do you? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a... Uh... I agree with you. Hi, Brad. I've just come to tell you how fabulous I am. <laughs> oh, yeah, this guy was definitely going through a divorce. She's one of my favorite. I wonder why. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I missed her. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot this guy can sing. A goddamn bang. <laughs> I never noticed that screech before. <laughs> yeah! Hi, I'm Brenda. This is my brother Oscar, and this is our friend Glish Davidson. His name was Glish? <laughs> well, they're so cute. I love the band. This is Janet. She's a phenomenon. So if you're looking for a standard to which you can I think that's an interesting thing to. Yeah. Like celebrity. Yeah, celebrity. Yeah. An interesting topic. And this did terrible when it came out. Yeah. Well, I think it's just really? so incredibly ahead of its time. Yeah, it's pre it's got some aspects. Of it. How old is it? 1981. 81. Wow. Yeah, it feels like a 90s thing though, for sure. Yeah. Brad. Just come to tell you how fabulous I am. Poor kids seeing the hat man. <laughs> I've just come to tell you how fabulous I am. Wait. <laughs> this was so good. I'm looking for love. What the fuck? This last like minute. This is like it just spiked production quality like a hundred percent. I told you this is a good movie. But like this part in yeah. this movie is like a diamond in the rough interesting when brad started to trip out yeah yeah that this just became so incredibly good so mysterious Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> i listen to the soundtrack religiously i think it's so good he totally just felt up her tit. I never noticed that before. I didn't even notice it. He just kind of rubbed his hand across it. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is so fun! Yeah. So this guy's, like, major talent in life is rock and roll bellies. The all-knowing, and now... All seeing God. That's right. Bert Schnick. Wait, you can see now? Yeah, she took off his glasses and broke them. <laughs> Remember that? Oh, nice. Okay, that cured him? Well, he was never blind. That's I lied I to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, awesome. That's what I was thinking when he tried peeking in the curtains. And I was like, why would a blind guy do that? This is... Ron DeSantis walking out <laughs> Florida. <laughs> Seducer! Seducer! Who are you, sir? Your twin brother and your accuser! Brad! This is kind of like a Scooby-Doo episode. How so? I, I think the scheming. The schemery, ah. Uh... They were twins separated at birth. Revenge your twin, you tried to abuse her. A ridiculous accusation! You force me to refuse her. Oh, this song's gonna fucking go crazy, huh? Why did you <laughs> because of you, sir. Wow, this is Shakespeare level poetry. <laughs> you lost your baby when you lost your balls. You lost your man when you lost your grip. So say bye. I actually still find it really crazy that Cliff DeYoung is playing both of them. Because they look they so twins, different huh? to me. <laughs> yeah, they're doing a Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, if you didn't say anything, I wouldn't have even thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
uncomfortable falsetto. <laughs> <laughs> They're just staring at each other in reality. Yang, get out of here. Stay out. Is the way we're going to put the rest of our house in order. <laughs> Including the upstairs. Oh, Ron DeSantis. This is him, actually. I know, right? <laughs> now that you said it, I can't unsee it. Florida is where woke goes to die. And the, crowd the big F is for Florida. Hey, look, they're having a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be so stupid. What a happy ending. Oh. Police brutality. I thought he was just gonna start blasting. <laughs> being honest. This is such a pop song to end it on. <laughs> so it was just like one big prank. Get pranked, because he's his twin. <laughs> It's just a prank, bro. <laughs> it's just a prank. The prank. Yeah, there is a lot of ass in this movie. <laughs> the way she was crouched. Yeah. Was so unnecessary. I mean, that's where I'm watching, anyways. So, it makes sense. But... <laughs> it feels like the end of oh, Greece. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> they fly away. The sun never sets on those who ride into it. The sun never sets on the British Empire. <laughs> wow. They had a blast doing that one, huh? I know it's really goofy. I know it doesn't make very much sense on the first watch through. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? That was a good movie. It felt like I knew what was coming next every single time, but I still didn't. And it just kept on like that for the whole time. I really like the music. I like the story. It's pretty interesting. It has a really good pace. I'm going to give this movie 95 out of 97 Frankenfurters. I'd say it's a fair 7.5 out of 10 Dead Birds. Would you watch this movie again? Yeah. Yeah, it's got good music in it, so I'd watch it at least twice. Cool. It was a good movie. It was. It's a smart movie. I'm not going to keep saying it. I think this movie's brilliant, and everyone should watch it. This movie's really good. I would recommend this movie. 100%. I was actually bored by shock treatment for all of the noise and all the songs. I don't think this film is going to be playing in the cult circuit for very long.